When we are asked to write the equation of a line that gives me specifics about the equation, I can use the same format for an outline to help me get the equation of the line each time. When we want to write the equation of the line with specific characteristics, we need one, the slope, two, a point that the line goes through, and then what we'll do once we have that information is we will plug it into the point-slope form of the line. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. And this will give me the equation of the line that has those characteristics. Now sometimes this information is just given to us. And other times we have to use our formulas that we've learned earlier in this chapter in order to get the information. So first of all, the slope of our line. Well, when this particular question, write the equation of the line passing through the point 5, negative 4, and 6, 3, they didn't tell me the slope of the line. They just gave me two points that the line goes through. But I know from earlier work that I can find the slope of a line if they're giving, giving me two points by the slope is equal to y2 minus y1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So we'll write over here that this is the slope work to remind us we're trying to get the slope of our line. Now with our particular question, Sometimes it's nice to just write up a little bit of bookkeeping so that we can keep straight where we're getting our values. Each ordered pair is an x comma y. So I'll just put an x, y above the numbers for each ordered pair. My first point, I can subscript with little sub ones. And my second point, I can subscript with little sub twos. So it just helps me keep track. So now when I come over to use my slope formula when given two points, I can just go ahead and erase and replace the symbols for the actual numbers that I have in this particular problem. So the number that's right under the y sub 2 is 3. So I'll erase out the y sub 2 and put a 3 there. Minus from the slope formula. The number under the y sub 1 is negative 4. So I have my minus 4 there, then my fraction bar. In the denominator, the number that's under the x sub 2 is 6, and then minus the number that's under the x sub 1 is 5. So now doing the arithmetic on this, I have our minus and negative in my numerator for my um, subtract the negative 4. So this slope gives me 3 plus 4, over 6 minus 5, and so my slope is 7 over 1, or a slope of 7. So I was able to find the slope of my line. My slope is 7. How about a point that your line goes through? Well, they actually gave me two different points that my line goes through, and I can use either one of these two points and still get the correct equation of the line. I've tied them together with the slope work, so it'll still give me the right equation. So my point, I'll just go ahead and use the point that I called x sub 1, y sub 1 in the up. So I'll use the point 5 comma negative 4. And I'll do my bookkeeping above it just to make sure I see what I have for my replacement values. So now that I have the slope and I have a point, I just plug that into my point slope form. The slope m for our particular example is 7. Our x coordinate of our specific point, x sub 1, that's 5. And our y coordinate of our specific point, y sub 1, is negative 4. Once I've made those replacements, I want to go through and simplify this equation. So I have my y plus 4, or the y minus a negative 4, is equal to, and on the right hand side I'll use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. That'll give me 7x, and then 7 times negative 5 is a minus 35. 
And at this stage, I want to look back at the original question to see if they told me a specific way to write the final answer. If they said to write the final answer in self-intercept form, I want to get the y on a side by itself. If they said to write the final answer in general form, I would want the x term and the y term on one side equal to the number on the other side. And I also want to make sure that the coefficient in front of my x variable is not negative when they ask for general form. But here, they didn't ask me for a specific form, so it's quicker for this one if I want to get the y in a side by itself, so I'm just choosing to leave it in slope-intercept form. I will subtract the 4 from both sides to get y is equal to 7x minus 39. And here is the equation of the line that meets the conditions that it goes through these two points. Now we've answered the question, but we can go through and just do a quick check to make sure that we got it right. I'm going to rewrite our answer up here so it's a little bit closer to C. It's y is equal to 7x minus 39. Now just as a double check, let's make sure that it actually goes through these points, that these ordered pairs satisfy that equation that we gave. Okay, so if we take out our value of x and put in 5, 7 times 5 is 35, and 35 subtract 39 would give me a negative 4, the correct y-coordinate for the ordered pair. It's also supposed to go through this point, so this point should also satisfy it. Take out the x and put in 6, 7 times 6 is 42, 42 subtract 39 is 3 the y-coordinate of the other point that we're supposed to have. So yes, this is the equation of the line that was requested by the question.